Hello, in this video we will see what are the possible turning points for a polynomial. In fact, what are the maximum number of turning points, what are the minimum number of turning points and possible number of turning points. Okay, that's interesting. Let's say we have a polynomial. Now, let me draw a polynomial first. Let's say this is a polynomial. Now here, what is the turning point? So you see, it's moving like this and here it turns. So that is one turning point. This is another turning point. This is another turning point and this is another turning point. If you look at this polynomial, what could be the degree of this? It has zeros 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. It has 5 zeros, correct? So we say we have 5 zeros and we have how many turning points? 1, 2, 3, 4 which leads to 4 turning points. Correct? So what is the degree of this polynomial? Uh, degree could be what? Maximum degree could be how much? Degree 5. Why? Why? Well, the degree has to be 5 because these seems to be linear zeros. Do you see how the polynomial cuts the graph linearly? Like a straight line. Do you see that? Like a straight line. So, these are all linear zeros. So, they come from linear factors. Let us say this point is 0 for us, this point is minus 3 and this point is minus 4. And let's take this point as 2 and this as 4. So what is the possible equation? Possible equation could be looking at the zeros x plus 4 times x plus 3 times x going through center times x minus 2 times x minus 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 factors. Do you see 5 factors? And each lead to a 0, which are shown there in the graph. So we say fx is equal to this. Well, this is another way of writing equation of a polynomial from a given graph. Now, what you could do is, so, so a degree 5 polynomial can have maximum 5 zeros and 4 turning points. Now, the relation is this, 5 zeros and 4 turning points. What can happen? The thing which can happen is, the zeros can fall on one another, correct? There could be a combination. In different kinds of polynomials, let's now consider degree 5 polynomial itself. There could be another one where we can have a double zero. This zero could be here. In that case, it will turn from here. Do you see? So, let me draw another one. Well, all will not be re replacing the same thing. The idea is to give you a concept, okay? So, let's say we this time we have this, this, this and here we have a double zero. Do you see that? Now, let's say that this time, this is at minus 4, minus 3, 0, and at 2, we have a double 0. Now, how many? That is, multiplicity is 2 here, okay? Now, how many turning points? 1, 2, 3, 4. So, we got 4 turning points. What is the possible equation? x plus 4, x plus 3, x, I am writing x here, and then x minus 2, because the multiplicity is 2, it turns, it bounces back, degree should be 2. So now what is the degree of our polynomial? 2, 3, 4 and 5, again the degree is 5, okay. Now how many turning points this time? 1, 2, 3, 4. Earlier, 1, 2, 3, 4. Same number of turning points. Do you see? 4 turning points. Now, let's make a change. This time, 
what we will do is we are just making change to one particular position or from one side to make things simpler for you to understand okay this time what we will do is we'll combine these two zeros right so what will be the multiplicity of zero uh, at the origin three right two plus two let's make it like this let's make it like kind of like this do you understand now so in this case let me draw this from this side Again, it's a degree 5 polynomial. Let's see if it is degree 5 polynomial. Let me write down the equation. So, fx is equal to x plus 4 times x plus 3. And this is at x. But the degree is q. Correct? It's like bent. So, we combine 2. Degree is still 5. And number of turning points. Let's check number of turns. 1, 2. Is this a turning point? No, it doesn't really turn. It bends and goes. It's like point of inflection. So the number of turning points here is 2 turning points. Do you see that? Yes. So we had 4 turning points here. Four, four, and now two turning points. So we never had three turning points. This is important to note, okay? And now let's make more changes to this. What we will do is bring it here. So when you bring it here, what happens? This becomes a degree four polynomial, correct? So it will bend from there, but the bend will be like this. I purposely shown like a, like a wider bend saying that this is not just degree 2 but it's degree 4 okay so you get minus 4 and this is at minus 3 and this time our function is first one seems to be linear so we'll write x plus 4 and the second one is of degree 4 correct x plus 3 to the power of 4 correct how many turning points this time just two so we get two turning points and last what we will do this time we'll bring all together you guessed it right we'll bring them all together all five at one point so it's an odd degree so be like a flat thing like this is that okay and we know this is a degree five function which we are trying to figure out so what is the equation for this this point, we assume this point to be minus 4. So it is x plus 4 to the power of 5. And how many turning points? This time, 0 turning points. Do you see this? It doesn't even turn. 0 turning points. So you will find that the number of turning points we got all throughout were 4, 2 and 0. So, what were the maximum num number of turning points? 4. 1 less than 5. And minimum, zero turning points. Correct? So, for a odd degree function, can I conclude that the maximum number of turning points will be n minus 1? If the degree was 7, then it would be 7 minus 1, 6. And the least will be 0 because a odd degree function can just go through straight, like, without any turn. So, it could be 0. Now, so, odd degree functions will always have even number of turning points. Well, there is another logic to it. Let me just show you how. I will show you on this part of the page. Okay? Another way of looking into this. Odd degree function and behavior, you know, will be opposite sides. Kind of this or this if the leading coefficient is positive so if the leading coefficient is negative it just turn like this but opposite side so let's take this example so one you have to go from here to here so one way to go is go straight is it okay without any turn the second way to go is make a turn okay so let's say this is the second way you make a turn once you make a turn you have to go that side you have to make another turn 
otherwise you can't reach this side so whenever you take a turn it will be in pairs do you see that let's go try to do it again like this let's see goes like this take a turn while take another turn and then decide to take another turn well, you have to take one more turn to reach in that quadrant. Do you see that? So always the turns taken will be in pairs. So turns are always even. So odd degree function will have even number of turns and the turning points will be. Can I generalize this for you? Number of turning points is from 0 to n minus 1 all even do you understand this is for odd degree how about even degree i will leave that as an exercise for you but tell you what it should be for example here now here odd degree means end behavior is like what same side correct so, to go to the same side, you have to make at least one turn, right? So, the minimum number of turns for an even degree should be 1. Well, once you make a turn, let's say, once you make a turn, you made a turn. But since you have to go up, you have to make another turn. So, 1 was default. This is a must. Must to have, right? And then in pairs. So, it is 1 plus pairs, correct? So, it is always odd. Right? So try yourself taking different examples of polynomials with even and odd degrees. And so fascinating that odd degree polynomials cannot have even number of terms. Right? And the even degree polynomial cannot have odd number of terms. And maximum number of terms a polynomial can have is n minus 1. Minimum for odd it is 0 because it can go straight through like this. Correct? Like a straight line. But for even one. Okay? Thank you.